This conference will now be recorded. Hi everyone, this is the uh, last part of sound lesson. Ready, let's start. So, uh, right, uh, last part of sound lesson, sound lesson four. Okay, on your notebook. And look at presentation. So today, I will explain you measuring the speed of sound. How can we measure speed of sound? Uh, look at the third method uh, using echoes. Facing a flat vertical uh, surface, wall or cliff, at least 50 meter, 50 meter away one person, clash two pieces of wood together. This person should try to clap the piece of wood in time with the echo they hear coming back from the flat surface. So sound is going and it's coming back. It's called echo and they are using two pieces of wood. Another person times 20 claps on a stopwatch. Uh, they should count 0, 1, to 3 till 20. Measure the distance D between the clapping person and the flat surface. The total distance traveled by the sound will be 20 times 2 times D because it's going and it's coming back and it's called echo. It's reflected, therefore, 20 times 2 times D. Okay? Uh, speed equals total distance divided by time for 20 claps. Total distance divided by time for 20 claps. Okay? And now let's solve uh, so yeah, this technique. By using this technique, we can measure speed of sound. Okay? So what they did, uh, to measure speed of sound, we need total distance and total time. Total distance, it's going and it's coming back, therefore it's 2 times D, yes. And total time, time for 20 claps, yes. Okay, look at this question. Look at this question. In an experiment to measure the speed of sound by an echo method, when a student stands 75 meters away from a wall, 20 claps are heard over a time of 8.77 seconds. Calculate the speed of sound. So, by using uh, this method, we can calculate speed of sound. Pause the video and try to solve it. I will explain this question. Total distance traveled by the sound. Travel by the sound 20 times 2 times 75 meter. Yes, because distance is 75 meter. Yes, therefore it is 20 times 2 times 75 meter, like this method. Yes. 20 times 2 times t. Distance is 75. They both look at this arrow. 20 times 2 times 75. Yes. Uh, so 20 times 2 times 75, 3000 uh, meter. And speed equals total distance divided by time for 20 claps. 3000 divided by 8.77 second. So speed of sound equals 342 meter per second. 342 meter per second. Yes. Uh, now I'm going to explain this question on the board. OK. So let's imagine that here is wall. OK. And this part is source of sound. Here is source of sound. So source of sound. For example, like loudspeaker. So sound is going this direction and it is coming back. It's reflected and it's coming back. Distance D and it is also D, yes? So distance, total distance is two times D. And uh, in example, they told that they told that total time is 8.77 seconds and 20 claps. So what's given? What's given? It's given that total time total time equals 
8.77 seconds. And 20 claps. Number of claps equals 20. Okay. Uh, and calculate the speed of sound. We need to calculate speed. Speed equals question. Okay. So, so. Okay, so uh, what's formula? Speed equals distance divided by time taken, yes? Speed equals distance divided by time taken, but it is total distance. Total distance divided by total time taken. Speed equals total distance divided by total time taken. And its solution, What's total distance? Total distance. They also told that it is 75 meter. Student stands 75 meter. Imagine that source, it's uh, 75 meter away from wall. So here is 75 meter. 75 meter. Okay. So uh, what's total distance? Total distance equals how many? 75 meter is going and 75 meter it is coming back. And how many times? 20 times. Okay. So 20 times 75 meter it, it is going and 20, 75 meter it is coming back. Therefore, total distance equals say, 2 times 75 times 20. Okay. So total distance equals how many? It is uh, 3,000 3, meter. Okay, 3,000 meter. And what's total time? Total time equals 8.77 seconds. Yes? So we can write here distance equals 3,000 3, meter. Yes? So now let's calculate speed. Speed equals 3,000 meter, 3,000 meter, divided by its total time. Here is total time. Let's write here on this formula, let's write total distance. Total distance divided by total time. Total time. Okay, so what's total distance? What's total distance? Total distance is 3,000 meter. And what's total time? Total time is how many? 20 times, 20 times, 8.77. Yes? 20, no, they told the total time equals 8.77. Okay. Uh, there are two situations. One of them is that, imagine that if, if they are telling that for one clap, for one time is going and coming, that if it time is 8.77, for 20 times we need to multiply total time equals 20 times 8.77. Second situation is that, uh, look at example, on the, on the example they told that uh, total time is 8.77 second for 20 claps. They already gave total time, okay? So it is 8.77, 8.77 second, yes? And so speed of sound equals 342, 342 meter per second. So be attentive with this part. Speed equals total distance divided by total time. They already gave total time. Total time for 20 clubs, it's 8.77 second. But uh, they gave distance, only distance 75 meter. Echo means that it's going and coming back. So distance will for one time, for one echo, it is 150, yes? Two times 75. And for 20 echoes, 20 times, two times 75, 3,000 meter. So by using this technique, we can measure speed of sound, okay? So pause the video and copy copy everything on your notebook and let's continue.
Next. Thunder and lightning. So strong lightning. A light, a light reaches the observer in 16 millions of a second because speed of light equals speed of light equals 300 million meter per second. But speed of sound is approximately 340 meter per second. It depends on temperature of air. Okay. The sound of the thunder reaches the observer in about 15 seconds. An observer three miles away see a lightning flash about 15 seconds before hearing sound. Every five second difference equates to a distance of one meter. So what's the main idea? Main idea is that speed of sound, it is 300 million meter per second. But speed of sound, approximately, approximately 340 meter per second. Okay, so see what's uh, speed of uh, light in vacuum, it is greater than speed of sound. Yes, that's the main idea. Thunder and lightning question. A thunder collapse is heard 20 seconds after a lightning flash. Calculate the distance to the lightning flash. Takes the speed of sound 340 meter per second. So, pause the video and try to solve it from yourself. And uh, I'm gonna explain it. Speed equals distance divided by time taken. Yes, 300 distance equals speed multiplied by time taken. So 340 meter per second times 12 seconds. So 4,080 meters. So distance equals 4,080 meters. So that's easy question. Just we need to replace, you must know this formula, speed equals distance divided by time taken. And later we need to replace uh, values substitute values and uh, we can calculate it. Distance equals 340 speed, look at arrow, 340 meter per second times 12 seconds, 4,080 meter. Yes, 4,080 meter, it is 4.08 kilometer approximately. So next, uh, pause the video and fill these gaps. Okay, so, now I will show their answers. Sound is a sound is a look at answers. So you must choose answers from this part. Pause it and try to solve it. So sound is a longitudinal wave that in air consists of a series of compressions and rarefactions. Okay. Sound travel faster through solids later. Uh, liquids, laser, gases, yes, but doesn't travel at all through a vacuum. Why? Because there is no particle, yes, therefore it cannot travel in vacuum. Speed of sound is maximum in solids. Why? Because particles, they are close to geyser and minimum in gases and zero in vacuum. A reflected sound wave is called an echo. Sound also undergoes, undergoes refraction. Okay, yeah. on average, human can hear sound frequencies from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Okay, from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Yes, now let's look at, that's end of presentation, end of sound. Okay, so now let's look at, learning objectives specifications again and check that what you learned from what you learned from this presentation from this topic sound okay so look at here please Understand that sound waves are longitudinal wave which can be reflected and refracted. We ex we ex I explained already. Understand how an oscilloscope and microphone can be used to display a sound wave. By using a oscilloscope, we can see paths of sound. Yes, we talked about this part. Uh, use the relationship between frequency and time period. Frequency equals one over period. Period equals one over frequency. They are inversely proportional. Yes. 
relate the loudness of a sound to the amplitude of vibration. So loudness is directly proportional with amplitude. More amplitude means that more loudness. Now relate the pitch of a sound to the frequency of vibration of the source. Pitch is also directly proportional with frequency. More pitch means that more frequency. More pitch means that they are close together. Yes, waves, they are close together. Uh, now that <coughs> the frequency range for human hearing is between 20 hertz and 20,000 hertz. So normal human can hear between 20 hertz and 20,000 hertz. When it is more than 20,000 hertz, it's called ultrasound. And when it is below than 20 hertz, it's called infrasound. Ultrasound, uh, for example, bad dolphins, they can hear ultrasound. But elephants, they can hear infrasound. Okay, 20, less than 20 hertz. And additionally, do you remember we, when I explained this topic, I told that upper upper limit of hearing uh, decreased by two kilohertz every decade of our age. So therefore, uh, hearing of young people is better than hearing of old people. Okay, describe how to measure the speed of sound in air. Uh, I explained this part. So by using echo. The how uh, to measure speed of sound we need distance and time by using echo method we can calculate echo method we can calculate speed of sound describe an experiment using an oscilloscope to determine the frequency of a sound wave by using oscilloscope uh, we can define frequency of sound wave because time difference between uh, two crests or two peak points equals period and frequency equals one over period Frequency equals one over period. Okay, so the role, so that's end of uh, fourth lesson, that's end of sound topic. Okay, take care of yourself. Bye bye.